Welcome back for my final daily report market analysis video with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Monday, the 27th of April. We're going to look at gold now, which has stuttered a little bit in the uh, last session or so. Um, the, the rally that we saw really taking hold uh, Tuesday, uh, sorry, Wednesday and Thursday last week, just hit the buffers a little bit at 1738, just rolled over a touch. Now, what we are seeing, I think, is for now a consolidation, um, a consolidation of the breakout above 1702, that key uh, old high that we saw back in March, that key old March high, which has become a pivot line on a near term basis. Um, and uh, holding above that, I think, is still positive. But we need to just be mindful because this is a, a chart that seems to be quite consistent in making little top patterns and bottom patterns around that pivot line. You've got the first initial top pattern, which downside break implied a target about 1665, hit that target, then formed a little, arguably, a little base pattern, broke above the 1702 level, again, hitting target area of around about four, uh, 1740, not too far off it. Now, just rolled over a bit. Um, so it just seems as though it's oscillating around this pivot line. And essentially, at the moment, we're still positive above the pivot line. But if you break back underneath it, you could well see them move back to sort of 1670 area again, 1665 maybe. It'd be very interesting to see how it plans out because essentially there is still the risk that this turns into a big top pattern, big double top pattern. Um, but obviously... For that to happen, you'd need to lose that pivot line and then obviously close below the 1660 reaction low. Obviously, we're nowhere near that, but that pivot line is the first real stop in this uh, in this chart breaking down now. So important um, for that near term perspective to hold above that pivot line. Now, also on the hourly chart, you can see 1738 the basis of resistance here on the day that actually hit 1746. But resistance again 16th of April and again on on, uh, on Thursday so um, yeah this is a really interesting um, level of resistance now at 1738 zooming in a little bit further you can see that reaction lower reaction high at 1728 on Friday just before the close and the market just drift, uh, drifting underneath that now but for now it is holding and it's uh, okay on momentum broadly speaking on the hourly but just threatening potentially to so to turn a little bit corrective again. So one to watch, I think, um, not as positive a development on gold as perhaps the bulls would have liked. But um, for now, we're still sort of happy to buy into weakness whilst supported above that 1702 pivot line. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website where you can sign up for our webinars.